I just returned from press on the publication of our spring 2018 Q2, we call it, Allure Diver Magazine, and it was a, it was a brilliant press run. Our shooter this time, this is a very uh, important part of our magazine, and I, I get the opportunity to interview very skilled underwater photographers, people who have had a significant career, uh, people who have a body of work that we'd like to celebrate. And in this issue, it's Tony Wu. Tony Wu is uh, not only a very skilled uh, photographer, but he's also very philosophic and introspective. So to me, it was, it was beautiful to not only uh, be able to present photographs like this in a Laird Diver, but also to understand the motivation, you know, what drives him to these distant locations. Here's the heart of our book. Uh, we've got these brilliant medics and researchers and, and people that specialize in hyperbaric medicine that contribute to Alert Diver Magazine and of course to the Dan Mission. And this gives us the opportunity to speak to the kinds of things that they do for a living, things that make better, safer divers. We get a chance to talk about what diving may be in the future. In each issue of Alert Diver in the research, education, and medicine section, we include several case reports. And in this issue, I think the case reports demonstrate the breadth of Dan's services and assistance capabilities. And we want our members to understand that no matter whether they're injured in the water or outside of the diving context, Dan can help. And I think the case reports in this issue really show that. We're introducing Dan's Hazard Identification and Risk Assessment Program. This HIRA program is being rolled out to dive professionals and dive businesses. We're excited to be partnering with them to improve the culture of safety in scuba diving. Becky Schott had a wonderful article about Truck Lagoon. She was also our cover shooter, so couldn't be more happy with the, the coverage that she did. The cover, for example, was taken at 200 feet on Trimix, so we don't see that many tech diving pictures on, on any magazine, recreational scuba diving magazine, but here we have it. And we'll close out with parting shot. That's uh, one singular image, always a vertical, and always an opportunity for one person to tell us the story of how they captured a once-in-a-lifetime image. Blair Diver, Q2.